Maybe going inside a human's house wasn't such a good idea. I want to eat. I want food. Food is what you'll get, hamster. Enough food to fill a bear cave, hopefully. OK, everyone, pay attention. Oh, look at the light. You need to get through the next three yards. Everyone knows your roles, right? Heather and I run along the front of the houses and come in through the basement window. At the first sign of trouble, we... We resist the urge to faint so we can warn everyone, right? Oh, right. Lou, Penny, you'll meet us at the house? Just me. Penny will stay home with the little ones. Oh, jeepers. I don't want you by yourself in a human house there. But we do this together. Hamilton? Where to go, huh? You and Stella meet us at the hole in the fence in the third yard, right? Right. Third yard, yep. Three comes after six, right? <laughs> Stella? Yo, Pammy, count to three. Got it. And Vern and I will navigate the three yards full of the most devious human traps imaginable, sticking to the shadows like creatures of the night, sneaking past incredible dangers, and... Sometime before the sun comes up would be good. Right. Everyone ready? Good luck, everyone, and be careful! Wow. I have to say, this doesn't look so bad. Great. Let's move out. I wouldn't do that if I were you. What, breathe? That too, but I meant stepping into the light. Looks like some kind of amphibian. Wouldn't a turtle be less cliché? Let's find ourselves a frog then. How hard could it be? Oh, look. We've been expected. Who's up for a snack? Uh, them, I predict. What gives, Chief? Who died and made you king of the picnic tables? Poultry alert! Fan out! Waltzing through this gate like a couple of gate waltzes? You both have a lot to learn about birds, don't ya? Don't ya? You don't want a piece of me, Tweety. Seriously. You wouldn't want to see my friend here bluster and fume, would you? Look, people, I don't make the rules. You want into the next yard, you need my help. Sorry, guys. City ordinance. We're all slaves to bureaucracy. That's what separates us from the humans. Uh, yeah. Very thought-provoking. Thank you. What do we have to do to get past? I got the key for the gate hidden in one of those objects. Break them until you find it. Oh, we get to break stuff? Why didn't you say so?
All this fuss over us? It's the sniffer. The cranky ones pay him to deal with us. Although not that well based on the quality of these trap designs. What's he think we are, insects? Now come on, and stay low. Ready, Stella? Yeah, but this better be one stupid cat. Boy, this kind of makes me want to get a log with a higher roof. And carpet. Amen. Now let's disable the trap so we can admire all this without that whole fear of death thing. Ah, just what the disarmament doctor ordered. I'm getting dizzy just looking at this thing. I'll handle this. Hammy? Where's my cookie? You just said cookie, right? Either way, where is it? There's plenty of cookies in it for you, Hammy. All you have to do is just follow the bouncing light and push the buttons, and cookies will rain down from the heavens like... Birthday cakes? Wedding cakes, but only if you hop to it. We only have a few minutes until the humans wake up. So whatever we're doing, can we do it a few minutes faster? Heather's right. Penny and Lou, you take the front door. Hammy and Stella, you've got the hallway. Vern, me and you will cover the kitchen. I'm up to you there in a minute, hon.
Buenos dias, reptile. Or should I say, buenos noches. <laughs> just on my way to kill you. Well, well, I'm impressed. You really outdid yourself this time. Keep this up and you're gonna be just like me. Take what you need, and who cares about anyone else? Well, I guess when you put it like that... Wow, doing the right things never felt so dumb! fun go tell our driver to do it again don't just stand there help me bust everybody out of these things then just stand there and don't touch nothing